put a spell on you. If I were to tell you that you was under a spell, you'd probably think that it was a joke. And yes, you'd be right. But only the joke is on you. You see, you have been taught that a spell is a psychological state induced by a magical incantation. But at the same time, you're made to believe that this sort of phenomenon is not real. It's just an illusion. And of course, some forms of magic are just that, a sleight of hand unseen by the naive observer. True magic, however, is the art of influencing or predicting events based on what is probable, producing marvels using hidden natural forces through tones, frequencies, sound, and vibration, which is simply words. I cannot stress it enough, but words are extremely powerful. The word spell has to do with reading letter by letter, writing or saying the letters that makes up words. The word spell etymologically means to tell from the proto-Germanic word spellum. And when you reason, you will realize that throughout your entire life, someone has been putting you under their spell by influencing your thought patterns through words and you seal the spell by simply believing or accepting it. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. I'm fearless. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in the spell that I am referring to is an evil hypnotic spell of amnesia that was cast 6,000 years ago at the beginning of the first moon cycle or world. This spell induced spiritual ignorance and racial blindness, which has left you in a forgetful state of sleep of the conscious mind, which has you lost in blind faith and belief with no facts and confirmation. And because of it, you are in a state of profound ignorance to who you really are. To put this in better context, this spell was introduced by way of a conflict between the gods in the Sumerian doctrine called the Anunnaki, brothers by the name of Enlil and Enki, who are sons of a ruler named Anu. Each son had their own heavenly host of beings that followed them, which you now know as the Elohim in the Bible or Allahumma in the Quran. This conflict led to the spell which was then called Kingu being cast on both of their descendants by one named Zuen, Anzu, the devil, Shaitan, or Satan, Nanar Sin, or simply Sin, and many other names. Many of you probably thought that the word sin was just a word that applied to wrongdoings against that which is considered godly, but in reality, sin is an actual person. In ancient Egypt, we called the spell Amam, and we referred to the devil as Apep or Apophis. And today in these modern time, it is known as the spell of Leviathan, which in Ashuric, Syriac, Arabic is Levi, meaning law, and Athen, meaning sin, who is Apep, or simply the law of sin. Leviathan was the laws of the sea by which reptilians lived by. Now, let's not be alarmed by the thought of reptilians because we have all accepted it one way or another in the Bible that Eve, Adam's wife, spoke to a serpent in the garden. And if you did not know, a serpent is a reptile. And this one was a reptilian humanoid. This planet that you now call Earth is really an aquarium, but there's much more water than there is land. And it was originally inhabited by reptilians you call dinosaurs. And if you look deeper into the human brain, you would realize that the humans are part reptile and part mammal. So we can conclude that there must have been some crossbreeding to produce humans which are reptilian humanoid. So, Leviathan was the law's name after the serpent, which is a giant sex spirit force that uses white magic to rule, keeping you in captivity both physically and mentally. To be clear, white magic is powers and devil worship as God or Lord. They sealed this hypnosis with spiritual ignorance. This same spell was cast on black people worldwide today. How, you may ask? Well, most black people are very much religious today, and the very religious books that they adhere to, called the Bible and the Quran, were devised and plagiarized from the Anunnaki, seven tablets called the Enuma Elish, and the Gilgamesh epics by an Anunnaki called Tammuz, who is mentioned in your Bible, Ezekiel 8.14 along with a council of 46 Anunnaki as a guideline for his subjects, which are not you African people. Then 
Much later, the Hyksos, also known as Shepherd Kings, also known as white people today, came in with their influence of ghost worship, which may sound strange, but many of you do believe in what's called the Holy Ghost. Many of you do accept the glad tidings called the gospel, and you're so much under the spell that you can't even see that the word gospel is really ghost spell. If you took the time and looked up the word gospel, it literally means good spell. And not knowing these truths, they have all of you following behind them in blind faith, rejecting your own fate, that's F-A-T-E, and rejecting your own race while learning to love and accept all others. So they, the Hicksaws, intentionally plagiarized what was already plagiarized, giving you the remix called the Holy Bible with all white pictures for you and your children to worship. They make and have movies about Bible stories with all white actors from Jesus to the angels. Plus, you have Michelangelo's drawing of God's hand and Adam's where both are white. This is all a part of the spell. The Muslims did the same thing in the Islamic movies about Muhammad and his companions who were all white. It is all religious racism to control you mentally so you will continue to follow them blindly without question so not to alarm the sleeping God within. They then condense all of the Sumerian deities in the ancient records into one single being and call them God. If you look in the scriptures, you will find that the Aramic, Hebrew, and Ashuric, Siddic, Arabic word for God is actually in plural form for a host of beings, but most Hebrew and Arabic scholars purposely translate it simply as God, as if to say there was only one. In fact, the word God or Allah is not always singular, as written in your English Bible or Quran. In some instances, the Aramic Hebrew word being translated into English as God is the word Elohim, as found in Genesis 1-1, and Allahumma in the Ashuric Siddic Arabic Quran 326 or Alihat as found in Quran 3623, which is the plural of Illa, short for Allah. All these words translates to mean these beings. And when it's translated into English, they purposely use the German word Gut for God. I hope that you are beginning to see that with the advent of religion, your identity and spiritual connection were stripped from you. When you already had your own direct contact with your own spiritual forces, you see, it is all about images. If you are running after the image of other than yourself and kind, you will not be able to imagine ever the image of yourself and kind. There's a concentrated effort by evil beings and high principalities who do not want and will not allow any positive black images in the highest position in society. And those that are there usually have something wrong with their characters. And if they don't have anything wrong, they will character assassinate them so that whatever accusation they make up against them is always in the back of your mind. Even if you clear up whatever charges, it is a well thought out plan. This spell is also enforced through the media that is predominantly controlled by white folks. This is done by establishing how you should look, what you should wear, how you should feel, where you should go, where you should work, how and where you should spend your money and what to eat. It basically tells you what to do in almost every aspect of your life. The media is a way to control your mind and all your feelings to make you work against yourself and kind. In the process of casting this spell, all that was good was made to look evil, and simultaneously all that was evil was made to look good. For example, when a person is down, they usually would say things like, I was in a light place in my life. What? No, I'm just being facetious. They would actually say that I was in a dark place in my life. And this makes darkness which is peace and tranquil, looks and seem bad, and fire and lightning and light and explosion is made to look and seem good. This is then placed in the minds of people and since we now label each other as colors, white people will look good and black people will look bad. And this in turn makes it easy to accept a white God and a white son of God and thus white magic is born. This makes it harder but not impossible to awaken from under the spell of self-hate. Religion is the ghost spell used to keep you under control, which gave birth to the evil one concept. You see, when people constantly are talking about the devil this and the devil that, it keeps the concept alive and going. And yet without the devil, how could you determine who and what is God? By this alone, you should realize neither exists. 
What is good to one is bad to another, depending on who it affects. It all goes back to you. Religion has placed you under the mode of one, two, and three. That is person, places, and things. Locked within the three dimension, and there is not anything that you can conceive that does not fit in either of those categories. Everything you do is done in threes. There are three basic religions, monotheism, pantheism, and polytheism. The Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, or God, the devil, and humanity. There are three predominant religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Three main scriptures, the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Quran. Religion is based on person, places, and things, their holy deities, their holy places, and their holy books. Even in your everyday life, everything is based on this principle. For example, you always want to meet new people, the rich and the famous. Go on vacation to nice places like the Caribbean or any place that you desire and buy new things like cars, clothes, jewelry, homes, etc. You cannot think outside of these three modes. Once you think or imagine outside of these three modes, the spell will be lifted. But it is up to you to want to lift the spell of Leviathan. Now, because it is useless trying to free a hypnotized person from white magic, a black magic formula becomes necessary to counteract the evil hypnotic spell. And that particular formula for breaking the spell is Wunawab or Wu Sabat, which is simply right knowledge. Right knowledge is step one that will reverse and destroy the spell. Right knowledge is simply common sense knowledge that all people will overstand, which will organize and unify the minds. The second step is right wisdom. Right wisdom is the sensibility on how to utilize right knowledge through insight. The third step is right overstanding. Right overstanding is the highest form of knowing and comprehension for over means above. And these three will lead you to your salvation called sound right reasoning, which is a fact that logically justifies some premise. Now. If you don't want to accept the truth, then do know that you will continue to wander for the rest of your life in untruth, lies, and sorrows. We are here to give you a choice that was never presented. You could either accept it or reject it. The decision is completely yours. And please don't believe anything that I just taught. Go and check it out for yourself. Then after you find that all that I have said is true, ask yourself, why this has never been taught and your soul will speak to you and tell you that they wanted to misinform you and the entire world i'm kef ray and this is back to the basic like share and subscribe facts we stated you want to know something go back to basics most saw trapping was called the matrix the world fibulized yet it's hard to face it so i spread truth hope you embrace it